Let's see this NCRT question. It says solve 1 plus x square dy by dx is equal to 2 tan inverse x plus x. So this is a NCERT book question. And this question is very interesting because it has tangent inverse and inverse trigonometric function. x, 1 plus x square as algebraic function and dy by dx shows that it is a differential equation. And dy by dx is there, not d2y by dx square and so on. That means it is a first order, first degree differential equation. So I write solution and very easily let's do it. So you see it is 1 plus x square dy by dx. Now here also there are x terms, here also this is a x term, only this is dy which is problematic. So let dy remain here only, so it becomes 2 tan inverse x plus x dx. Now what will happen is, this is your dx going to the other side and 1 plus x square is there that will shift to both of these terms. Why? Because 1 plus x square is there which is multiplied with dy. So it is 1 plus x square, here also it is 1 plus x square and let's see what happens next. Now this is dy and these are all terms in x, let's integrate both sides for reaching the further part of the solution. 2 tan inverse x, 1 plus x square is there, so dx can be separated with this 2 plus x upon 1 plus x square with integration dx can be separated with this 2. And let's make a big bracket for this. Now, you see that I have something technically very important to know. There is substitution, integration by substitution method, which says that if I have to substitute something, that will be only beneficial if I have the derivative present. Say, so I say, put tan inverse x is equal to say t. Then what will happen? 1 upon 1 plus x square dx is equal to dt. So that will give me some benefit here because here is 1 upon 1 plus x square. Similarly, you come here. If I write put 1 plus x square as say p, then you have 2x dx is equal to dp. Even this should benefit here. Only then I will substitute when I find that there is something fruitful. Now let me put these values, so here it becomes y and this is 2 coming outside, integration tan inverse x is t, dx upon 1 plus x square is dt plus integration is there, x dx is what? It is dp upon 2, so that means 1 by 2 dp and 1 plus x square is p, so this should be p. Now see what should be the answer like, you can even keep it as dy only here. In the next step you make it y, you make it 2, integration of t is t square by 2 plus 1 by 2, 1 by p, dp is log p plus c which is the constant of integration but I cannot leave my answer here because I am unaware of what is p, what is t until and unless I put the values. So 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So what is t? y is equal to tan inverse x whole square plus 1 by 2 log p. What is p? p is 1 plus x square plus c and that should be the answer. So it already makes us clear that we cannot leave our answer in t and p. So we have to put the values and that gives me my final answer.